set it and forget it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for hitting that like and subscribe button um, to see more videos like the one I'm gonna show you today. I am going to be reviewing the newest foundation from CoverGirl, and it is their True Blend Matte Made Foundation. It's supposed to be a comfort matte, non-transferable, oil control, pore minimizing, Lord Jesus, it's, it's supposed to make you a superwoman. Oh, so I have my hair up in a ponytail today because I just feel like um, I, obviously my hair is gonna be out of my face so you can see the foundation go on really, really well. And then also it kind of gives you that like Botox look, right? I'm probably going to be wearing my hair nice and tight for the rest of my life until I, you know, get the courage to put a needle in my face. Not anytime soon, no oh God. So I have the foundation on right now. I'm gonna show you um, me swatching it, trying to find my shade. It's a huge, huge collection. And I'm gonna show you it all, share my thoughts, opinions. I got your back. And if you're interested, just keep watching. So to get started, I'm going to prep my skin using the Olay Total Effects Whip. Um, so I'm just going to just knuckle it. I just dip my finger in there like this and make sure I get it all over the place. This stuff smells so good. Next, I'm going to be using the Skin Smoothing Primer from CoverGirl. This is from their True Blend um, collection. So I'm just going to be applying a little bit of this to my T-zone, really concentrating here on my cheeks because that is where my pores seem to be the most noticeable. Next is foundation, and like I said, I had 40 shades to choose from, so it's very overwhelming. I personally use um, the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation from Maybelline New York, or I use one from Estee Edit, and it is their Skin Glowing Balm. If you guys have been watching my recent videos, I have mentioned both of these products. In the Maybelline um, foundation, I take 310 Sun Beige, so it kind of started there. I wanted to make sure that I got something similar because I really like the way that the color of those two products look on my skin. And actually, one of the products had the same exact name. So number T40 Sun Beige is gonna be the first one that I'm going to swatch here on my face. So I'm gonna do three swatches. I just picked shades that looked really, really similar to my skin tone. So we're gonna do that little test because if you guys went to the drugstore, you're gonna do exactly the same thing. Now I understand that you guys might not have the luxury of purchasing three at a time, but that's what I'm here for. I'm going to swatch the three closest ones that I would think as a consumer myself that might match my skin tone the best. Um, and then I'm gonna keep trying until I find the right one. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how many it took to find my perfect match. So first up, I'm gonna be doing a swatch of T40 Sun Beige. Like I said, this is the same name as the one that I'm using from Maybelline. So I'm just gonna do a little pump on back of my hand. Now it's really, really thick. So I'm gonna do that one on the top. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. So in order from top to bottom, we have T40 in Sun Beige, M60, and this is Natural Beige, and then we have M70, which is Sand Beige. So this one actually looks pretty good. That one looks like it might be too dark for me, but I can still use it for summertime, so I might wanna hold on to this one as well. Now before moving on, I did want to do a blend test with these two shades. So I am going to blend the bottom one down and the top one up. So starting with this bottom one, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it down to see how it would look on my skin. That looks good as well. Oh my gosh, how do those two shades look so damn good but there is the transfer test as far as it going on my face i think i want to use 
the sun beige. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another swatch of that on my face. I'm gonna show you the deepest and the fairest of the shades before I continue. So this is obviously my shade, right? So we have the T40 here on my face. And next I'm going to swatch the L10 Fair Porcelain. So you guys can kind of get an idea of how light or how fair it can get. Okay, and then I'm going to do a swatch next to that with D90 Espresso. Oops. So I did two pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand. Now I have three tools here. I have a flat top kabuki brush. I have a flat foundation brush and I also have a moist beauty blender. Um, the beauty blender is what I just naturally gravitate towards, but since it is really thick, I think I might want to apply it using a brush and then push it in with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna try that because I just don't wanna mess up my beauty blender because it's pretty thick. Now, as I add this to my skin, it's really light. It feels almost like a thick moisturizer. Definitely not as thick as I was expecting it to be. As you guys can see, I just lightly went under my eye and it did some color correcting because I did have a sleepless night. As you can see, it's like completely red under here. And then also I've been kissing my dogs and I'm so allergic, which I, I need to relax. Just take, you know, my Zyrtec and have a good time. Now it's actually applying so nicely with a brush. So I think I might just use a brush with this particular foundation. Now it says it's supposed to be like an oil control. I don't see any mattifyingness yet. So hopefully when it dries down, we'll start to see that matte finish. But right now I'm not seeing any of that. I'm gonna use a little bit of Tarte's Shape Tape in Medium right underneath my app. A little bit as I'm like, just caking it on. <laughs> I look like Homer. This foundation is letting me layer right on up. It's not giving me any issues. I'm using my favorite products and they're going really well together. Next, I'm going to be using a little bit of Benefit's Hula Quickie Stick. I'm really trying to pop those cheekbones out, okay? So we need to fake it a little. A little bit on my forehead, not too much because I don't want it to disappear because I have the smallest forehead in the world. A little bit on my nose, and this is gonna help to really slim it down because my nose is getting rounder. The more ponderosas I gain, the rounder my nose is getting. Like, can you chill? Next, I'm gonna be doing some powdering, and I'm going to be using couple of products from Burt's Bees. These are my favorite right now. I absolutely love the way that it settles onto my face, so I know that I'm not going to be doing the foundation any disservices. So the one that I'm using today is the mattifying powder from Burt's Bees, and it's, in, I don't know, it says it's with bamboo. I'm like, I don't know what that means, but okay, I'm gonna take it. So I'm just gonna load up this brush that never gets washed. It's from Sigma, it's just my powder brush, so I just go right underneath here, set it, set it and forget it. Next, I'm gonna be taking a blush with bamboo. This is also from Burt's Bees. This is 1215 Toasted Cinnamon. So I'm just going to be placing that right, right in the little C shape right here of my face. Now, I didn't think I was gonna do a full tutorial on here, but I guess so, because I just keep using the same products. My skin is done, and now I just have to do the finishing touches, my eyebrows, eyes, and lips. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna bring you guys closer so we can get a really nice look at how the makeup's actually like sitting on my face. Then we're gonna put a timer on, and I'm gonna come back later and show you guys what's up. Okay, so now I have all of my makeup on, and I feel like I look like a different person. Okay, so this is where I place the highlight, um, right in this area, right on the eyes. I did that heavy powder, 
And as you guys can see, there's still a little bit of a sheen in this area. Not too much, but it's definitely not as matte as I was expecting. So I absolutely love it. So we're just gonna give it some time. We're gonna come back and we're gonna see how it held up. So I'm back and it's been about five, almost six hours now. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on how it wore throughout the day. Now I did stay home all day and I was doing my daily routine and all the things I need to get done here, like cooking, cleaning, um, editing on the computer, just uh, normal everyday things while testing out this makeup. The only thing that I did see is that a little bit of the foundation is starting to wear off around my nose. That could have easily been because um, I touch my nose often, not that I'm like picking it, but like touching it, rubbing it, a little itch or what have you, maybe blowing my nose. Um, I do see a little bit of the breakdown around my nostrils here and then also on my frown lines, but nothing too major where I would feel like less confident as the day went on. As far as the oil control, um, I get, it's getting a little bit oily in this area. Nothing too major, like I said, nothing a little dust of some powder can't control. Um, as far as my pores go, my skin looks great. Um, it's definitely not like flat matte. It blends really great. The color is really easy to match, which is a plus because 40 shades can get really wild really quickly. Uh, so hopefully this video helped you in your search or maybe even your thoughts of trying out this product. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. And like always, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you have not already joined my family. And I'll see you in the next one.